We are back to initiative. All right. My gosh, I delayed, right? So she goes first this round? Oh, or, or... you can take your action at the end if you want. Okay, I think she will. Well, this new sentinel that had moved up is now within range of her column of motion, so he would have to make a save. He makes a save. The other one that was in the hall failed the save, so he just walked into the room. Okay. Um. <clears throat> but you can still attack the people who um, are not affected by it, because it says that only the creature aggressive action against or damage dealt to a calmed creature immediately breaks the spell on all. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess we could attack this one here, so... Akasha will spend her turn doing that. So. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so she will just dissolving spit a little twice then. Try to give by a little bit more time. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that looks like it won't confirm the crit. That's sad. Okay. <clears throat> and then she's going to move to here, I think, so that she can try to maximize the number of creatures that are in her or uh, you know what, she's going to move to the center of the room here, actually. Because then it's, can she move like on top of the mask? Yeah, because then she'd hit every corner of the room. And that'll be it for okay. a costume. Then we're back to initiative. I think everybody else rolled. Kasha rolled also. Okay, Odo, you're up first. You are not currently affected by the calm emotions. But you can roll your will save. Actually, Odo's just out. Oh, okay. Never mind then. And Akasha's got the mask? No. No, she didn't actually try to take it. Anyone have the mask or just sitting there? It's just sitting there. Oh, God. You have 14. Oh, my God. Yeah. I got to do it. Do it for the team. He really wants to be a pile of ashes. I grabbed the mask. Oh, my God. Okay, you can start by rolling your maze save. That's Will? It is, in fact, Will. 38. Not bad. You're only off by three. Seriously? Yeah, DC's 41. Oh, you might be uh, within range of uh, What's-Her-Face's aura. Yeah, now that Abigail's has line of sight to you, you get the plus 14. Oh, with Abigail, I make it. Yes. Then you can roll your disintegrate, fire, cold. We have fire, cold, 30 resistance. Okay, so it's just your disintegrate.
Dodo. Hold on, and that's uh, and fortitude, her, and that's with her plus fourteen or eighteen or whatever. Plus fourteen, yeah. Thirty-six. Nice. That's not enough. So you take twenty-two points of disintegrate damage. All right, you're on your own, guys. Okay. We can do this, guys. We got it. Just don't die. I ignore that. I ignore that saving throw. I don't oh, okay. Work that way for that one. Okay. Do you want to hang on to the mask, Ben? Yes. Then everybody in the Lady Shadow can roll their saves. This may be bad. This is so much worse than you could possibly imagine. Well, because I just attacked the Sentinels. Yeah, you're in a room with 14 hit points. And what's that? Six sentinels? Um, four of which... Oh no, it's only five sentinels. Four of which are going to immediately uh, stop being calmed. I guess it's only the disintegrate you're saving against. Do we get the, the bonus for Abigail? Yes, you do. Because you're within her aura. So what is the plus? Fourteen. And you said the the save is forty something? Forty four? Forty one. Is it possible to just fail to save willingly? Uh yeah, I guess so. Why would you want to do that? That way I'm in the maze and not gonna get disintegrated. Yeah, but then you're trapped in the maze and they don't want you in the maze. Oh, right. They, that's fine. The whole reason they burned a fate point to save you was so that you could get them out of here. Well, I'm mazed, so there's that. Nobody gets mazed. You can only maze one person per round, and that was Odo. Oh, okay. So it's just the... It's just the disintegrate. You guys have um, cold and fire resistance. So Kosh is fine, actually. I'm sure I take all the damage. It's 20-something damage? 22? If you fail to save, it's 44. Oh, perfect. You failed the save, Pa? I guess 23. I, I'm a mage. I don't have fortitude. No, that makes sense. I just thought with the plus 14, it would be a pretty uh, reasonable save. What's but still very hard for you. What's the DC on it? 41. So you yeah. are off by a, a considerable amount. Okay, Odo, you realize that the mask has awoken. I try to put my command it with my will. Okay. Um, you can roll an ego check. D20 plus your wisdom, intelligence, and charisma.
Oh. Okay. Um, Odo, uh, the mask takes control of you. See? John's cheating tonight. <laughs> How many 20s has he rolled tonight? Uh, almost as many as uh, 100 on my percentile. Who are you telling to stand down? I was telling Odo that if he has the mask, he's the ruler of Sigil now, right? So he can tell the Sentinels to stand down. But... Yeah, that, that is absolutely true. For a split second there, when he still had his senses. Oh, well, wait. at least Odo has 14 hit points. He'll be easy to kill. True that. Okay, the Sentinels all fail their save, so they take 44 each. And Odo puts the mask on. And then we're on to the Davis, and he will cast the spell magic on the silence. Your caster level on silence is 13. Uh, yeah. So that would make your check of 14. Or sorry, 24, so he beats that. And then run to paw. Five foot. Five foot. You might want to keep in mind that your only exit strategy is Kessia. I'm certainly not standing in a room that I'm going to be disintegrated in. That's fair. At least I already know which character will be. It's going to just... be, what's, what's the next game plan? Well, Kasha's still in good shape. Uh, Flynn is resurrected. Abigail's still alive. Even Cassia's in not bad shape. It's really only Odo and Pa that are dead. Okay, then it is Abigail's turn. And she will cast Cure Critical on uh, Paw. Yeah. 
healing him for 58 points. And then she will move into the room. I wonder what happened to Jesse. He just sort of vanished. He's probably asleep at his computer. Scroll back and find his phone number and call him. Didn't even think about that. He just put his head down on his computer and went to sleep. Okay, Abigail's gone, Jackson. So, Kessia, what are you doing? Very good question. I don't know. Because there's no way for me to get out of here without taking attacks, right? Yeah, you're pretty screwed. You're surrounded by sentinels and the uh, the mask. Uh, you could triple five foot to the south. That would get you to the edge of the uh, disintegrate area. But that would be your whole action. I think it would be wiser to double five foot and then take a move to get to like a corner over here or over there or something yeah you can do that too because you really don't want to be in the radius of this you'd rather oh, rather go for sure but i don't think we can win this well then you could double five foot to here and try to run out this way You can still take an AOL from this one, but this guy's still calm, so you should be able to get outside from there. Do we know if the mask can make attacks or if it's just there? It's dominated him. Okay. Um I will use my staff and do cure critical wounds mass on everybody within 30 feet. Are you healing Odo? No. Because I assume that's going to make it harder for us. And how did you change your critical again? I'm sorry. It's just D4s instead of uh, D8. So it's 2D4 instead of each D8. I actually just rolled cure critical right there. What's the caster level on your staff? 12. Yeah, so that would be uh, 88 plus 40. That will fix everyone in the room. When you exceed your hit points, you get half the residual as temp hit points. And then I will five foot step down. Actually double five foot step because then they still would have been able to do that. And that'll be my turn. Okay. Then it is the Sentinels go. Uh, 
and they move outside of the Lady's Shadow. And they kneel. Do I still Did have a devil five foot? Yes. Do I still have a connection to Joe? Uh, yeah, you'd have whatever connection you had. Okay. Does he still have 14 hit points? He still has 14 hit points. So then we're on to Akasha. Okay, well, <clears throat> Akasha would um, kind of look to Odo. Are you still there, buddy? Can I answer or no? Um, no, you cannot answer. Then I think she would say, you know, I mean, I think in character, she would probably have to like make a sense motor check or something to realize he's changed or that he's been possessed or, or some such. Well, he's now over 20 feet tall, so it's fairly obvious. Yeah. So I think she's just going to say, I'm, I'm real sorry, buddy. We're going to have to do this. And, um, she is going to attack him. So she's going to include a snap kick on here. So these will be five attacks. Um, what's the bonus we get from Abigail for attacking the uh, Lady of Pain? Plus 14. Okay. So then we'll do all of these. And then we might have one more to follow up if these don't. Well, the first one will probably kill Otto. All right. Sorry, there was one extra one at the end. Shouldn't have been there. But um, okay. Well, let's see. Is that enough to take him down? She would be doing this non-lethally if she can. Yep. The first one will probably still kill him. Um. He's got fourteen hit points, so that would take him to minus thirty-six or it's twenty-six. I guess that's not too bad. He's got 150 some odd hit points, 57. Subduel is half, isn't it? No, I. No, I subduel understand. is full damage. It just, uh, it's a matter of how far into death door he goes. If he doubles his death door, then he uh, dies, regardless of what damage he takes. But in this situation, um, a quarter of his hit points would be a lot. Well, it's almost 40. So he could easily take all the damage and still be fine. Fine or unconscious? He'll be unconscious, yeah. Okay. He can go to minus, what, 36, 37, something like that. All right. The one day I didn't shape that freaking so well. Okay. Yeah, 39. I don't know why that math was so hard. All right. Well, um, okay. Lord. Okay. So then, um, after she knocks him out, she will try to pick him up or like hold on to him here, and she will just call for 
um, Cassia to get us all out of here. Is he still Is wearing the mask? Okay, um, Joe just sort of, or Odo just falls, and the mask falls to the ground. And it becomes uh, inert again. I mean, I don't think Akash is crazy enough to try this if Odo failed. That would be a wise choice. But if she had that freaking soul meld on, she'd totally do it, which I just realized she should have had. Which soul meld is that? The planar ward. It would prevent her from being possessed or controlled. Nice. And you got rid of that because you're getting the planar avoidance. Well, so actually, I shouldn't have been able to get rid of that. So I made a mistake in the way I selected my soul melds for the day. And I've used all of them, so I can't. That was just a mistake. I shouldn't have been able to swap that out, but whatever. No worries. Okay. Okay, so we're back to initiative then. Abigail needs to take the mask. Everybody would know for us to get out of here, we have to be touching. Well, if you need Abigail to act fast, there's the time. Okay, Kasha, what are you doing? Can she kick the mask to Abigail? Um, she'd have to touch it to do that. Well, <clears throat> so, but Abigail, I guess, is coming up soon, so maybe we won't do that. Um, <clears throat> have Mage Hand or something? No. Could levitate the mask. I don't think that helps, though. That's just up or down. So, um, yeah, I think Akasha is going to delay till after. Um, I think Akash is going to delay till after Cassia here. Try to get everybody together. And if they're not, she'll run and pick somebody up and bring them over. Okay, then... Or just before Cassia, I should say. Just before Cassia. Yeah, I'm here. Hey, look who's alive. Did you fall asleep? Yeah. It's a good thing you have to drive to Innisville and babysit. Okay, we're fleeing for our lives. Um, Odo's unconscious. Abigail will move up beside uh, Akasha and Kessia because that's the plan to get out of here. Um, what are you doing, Pa? Um, is this guy an enemy? Like, yep, he he's an en enemy. Have we tried picking up the mask? Yes. Yeah, twice. Cassia picked it up and got mazed. Uh, Joe picked it up, made the save, made all the other saves, and then tried to control the mask and was dominated by it. And then Akasha dropped him to unconsciousness and he dropped the mask. And we are now just figuring out what we're going to do. You got some attack of opportunity on me. 
Yep, he does 20 points to you. Abigail needs to grab the mask. Do you tell her to grab the mask? Absolutely. Grab the mask. She's the only one who's going to be able to wear it. Yeah, if, if it wasn't clear, Akash would have said the same thing on her turn. Okay, does anyone have any objection to her grabbing the mask? No, no. if she fails and we and she turns into the Lady of Pain, we're dead anyway, so. Yeah, that's why I'm asking if anyone has any objections to it. Proto is unconscious, so. I mean, we could just have her pick it up and not wear it, right? Well, you know when you touch it, the first thing you have to do is save versus the maze effect. And once you uh, save against the maze effect, Odo found out that you then activate the lady's shadow, which is also bad since you're all in the shadow. And Odo will be turned to dust. Can we just like put it in a bag? <laughs> I don't know. We can't have come all of this way and got to this point where we're standing beside the mask and not take it with us. Uh, that's no good. Oh, she can reach Odo from there because she has reach. So she will move up and heal Odo. So that's 140 hit points, Odo. Oh, could I have... Uh, do I have to roll a, a spellcraft check for a faith miner? Yeah, you took 20 points of damage. What is that? It's the damage plus the level of the spell? Uh, plus 10 as a base. That is not an easy check. It was 17. Yeah, that's fair. So it's 27 and uh, 28 for half level? No, it's nothing for a half level. Okay, so 27, my check is plus 27. Okay, well, don't roll a 1. Okay. You could have also done that before you started moving. That's fair. I didn't know how much movement I was going to need. No, that's totally fair. That's why I didn't suggest it before you uh, you rolled the check. It's just if you're really desperate for healing, you could have done it before you got in motion. Okay, so pause gone. It is the Dabas's turn. Uh, he will not do anything at this point because he is unsure what the hell's going on. Um, and he won't get close enough to see because Flynn is now active. Um, then we're on to Kessia. Going to delay till after Yaxon and Flynnfire go so they can get close. Okay. Yaxon and Flynnfire, go. Um, well, I'm. Um... Flintfire is gonna do an acrobatics to try to get through to the party. Are these guys all taken out of the fight? No, they uh, backed up to kneel before Joe when he was the Lady of Pain, and they haven't acted since. We started the round with Akasha um, punching him in the head and knocking him out. Okay. Um. Well, twenty e nine to get past the sentinel. You got to get to Kessie at the bottom. No, just everybody has to be touching. They don't have to be touching me. We just have to have a. Change oh, of touch. okay. And that's how to get it. Can we take the helmet out with us? Well, um, I think we should vote on uh, what you guys want to do. Abigail will do whatever you guys want her to do. But uh... so. Well, 
Akash is going to vote for Abigail to take it. Um, what is the sorry? What is the radius? Is it fifteen feet on the uh, Lady Shadow? Yes. So Akasha could levitate the mask to the ceiling. Abigail could grab it there, and still be in range to touch us all, where only she would be affected by the Lady Shadow. Does that work? If everybody ducks, I guess I don't know. Uh, initially, yes, but if she fails her save, um. She'll be mazed. Right. But if she's mazed, then we can still get out, and then we can find her in the maze later, because we can plane shift to the maze to get, get her, right? So it's not actually I, a problem I, if she just stays in the maze. I don't think you can plane shift to the maze. The maze is an extra dimensional space. I don't think you have any control over where it is. Well, I mean, we can plane shift into the plane of the maze right or the extra dimensional s space through at least one of our methods right we have a ton of methods to get to these places i guess uh what's his face paw has status is that broken if she leaves the plane yeah i'm pretty sure but like even if she's yeah because we could probably try to discern her location through some method and find her, we'd have time then, and Akasha can teleport an infinite amount, so we could get to her in the maze if we had to. I, anyway, I, anyway, Akasha's vote would be for it. Okay, just type your vote into the chat, and we'll go with whatever the majority is. It was an ego check based on her charisma, her will, and her intelligence, right? Yes. And she has a lot of that, right? Um, she has a little bit of that. No. She has plus four charisma, plus four for wisdom, and plus two for intelligence. She would be rolling the check at a significant disadvantage. So she's at plus ten. Cassia would have a plus 17 to that check. That would actually be pretty decent. I think its check was plus 16. Yeah, 8, 4, and 4. You don't get enhancement to it, do you? No, it's an ego check. Yeah, I'm plus So mm, Flynn is for picking it up. Um, what's everyone else's vote? Dive it in there. We got two for pickup. Anyone else on the pickup side? Okay, she picks it up. You want to roll her save, Odo? Good job. Yep. And that even with the plus 14 won't make it. So oh, she's yeah. maze? Yeah, she's maze. She disappears. Well, Akasha's the next one up. Actually, I guess it would be... What's... Uh... Joe, you want to use a reroll code on that? Wait, is she not mazed with the mask? She's just mazed? She's just mazed. Oh, I thought she would have the mask. Yeah, let's do, do we use a reroad code on that. Joe with his codes on codes? Yeah. Yeah, sure, let's use another code. Uh, 
Okay, roll or save again. I'm going to laugh so hard if you fail. Really? Uh, You're my hero. Can I can I can I use my luck play reroll on that? No, you can only use one reroll per die. Okay. Well, Akasha had delayed her turn anyway, so she'll go before Kessia. So then she's going to try to pick up the mask herself, so that we can at least get the mask and get out of here. Okay, roll your save, but now you do it without the plus 14. Hmm, right. Is there a better way to do this? Let me think for a sec. I mean, scoop up the mask in a bag. Yeah. I mean, would that work? Like, could she just use a bag to grab it? Uh, you can roll a spellcraft or arcana check. Arcana would be the better check. I mean, she doesn't really have Arcana. Nope, that's fine. Kasha thinks that would be a great idea. Okay, well, I mean, Akasha doesn't have time to consult her allies, so she will try to do it. Okay, roll your save. She's got one thing left. left. Can it only maze once per round, you said? As its action, yes, but anyone who touches it gets mazed. So she tries to pick it up in the bag. She fails here. Sorry, this is including the plus 14. It shouldn't be. Um, so she would fail. She, we could use a code on this, I guess. But it's only a 5% chance, so I think not. Yeah, I think not. Yeah, so I think Akasha's just mazed then. That was the icon I was looking at. I couldn't find anything better than that for maze. Okay. Well, Cassia, it's your go. Um, you're no longer touching everyone. I think I'll start by rolling. You said Arcana or Spellcraft? Yep. Arcana being the better one because it's a magic item. Forty one Arcana. Um anyone who willingly touches the mask is going to suffer the consequences. Wearing gloves and minute things like that are not going to help you. But willingly was your operative word there, correct? So if I were to force someone to do it... Then they would be willingly doing it under compulsion. If you could make one of the sentinels grab it, that might be interesting. And do I know if this would affect constructs? That is a good question. Um... I would say with a 41, you would say that it would not affect contracts because it has no mind, as long as it's a not a um, sentient construct, like uh, whatever the inevitables are. Gotcha. Let me see real quick. So I have my expeditious messenger, which isn't really sentient, but it has, like, it can do what I tell it to, basically. Okay. So can I have that grab the mask? Yep. Now, are they going to come out where the mask is, or are they going to come back out of the maze where they she went into the maze? They will be returned to this room. Well, you said before that plane shift will put the person randomly. 
so Akash yeah once you're in the maze that. you can just come back to um the outlands at any point right. you want as a plane shift you just can't come back into this room with a plane shift right so akash is going to be trying to get to abigail in the maze first and then assuming she can do that she will plane shift them both out so what you're saying is to this is the time to get out If that is the case, then having my construct doesn't count as my uh, standard action, correct? Uh, I don't know. What is your construct? I mean, it acts independently. It carries messages. Oh, yeah. If you just give, oh, it, yeah. If you just give it messages, that's fine. So I was going to have it pick up the mask. The construct okay. pick up the mask. And then I'll drop the darkness stuff, the two darkness coins, and do Shadow Walk to get out of here with everybody. Because now we should all be touching. Akash is not there. Oh, right. I'm, I'm, I come up right after you, so I'll be... I can I can get Yax in the move there, and we can all be touching. Because Yaxon goes right after you. Yeah, you already went with Yax, and you guys moved up. How yeah, what he's saying is his action, uh, he can choose to move to a position where... He's still connecting everyone. Gotcha. Am I able to then to delay for that to happen and then yep. do that? I will do that then. Okay. Um, so you guys shadow walk. Um, do you have to do anything to cast the shadow walk? It's a scroll, so I just have to do a use magic device check that I take 10 on. Okay. And then you can shadow walk out of here. In the time that it takes them to figure out what's happened, um, uh, you guys will be long gone. Um, how does the Shadow Walk affect your construct? So long as we are touching, presumably it would come with me. It says targets up to one creature per level, so presumably a construct still counts as a creature. Okay, um, when you uh, cast your Shadow Walk, your Construct no longer is holding the mask. Uh. You can still see into the Prime, right? Or are you in the Shadow Plane? You're at the border of the two. Um... You can't make out details. You can just kind of see a general. Okay. Well, then, uh, once you shift into the shadow plane, you realize your construct doesn't have the mask anymore. Well, y'all, what do we do? Do we try to go back? I, I, we're kind of screwed at this point. Just cut our losses. Any ideas from Power Odo? I don't know how we're ever going to be able to do this if we don't do it now. Yeah. No idea. I can try, but without the plus 14, we're kind of boned. Pray Abigail makes her save, make one final stand. How hard would it be to find Abigail in the uh, in the maze, John? I guess um, it doesn't matter. She's, got, she's just got to roll her checks, right? Well... The difference here is uh, Akasha is in the maze and looking for her. So I'm going to have her roll checks to find Abigail. Hopefully she'll do it before Abigail finds her way out of the, ma out of the maze. Um, if you had a spell like Find the Path or whatever, you wouldn't have any difficulty doing it. The only thing that I can think of is... Can you take Shadow Walk more than once? Like, Can you use it again? No, that was it. The only thing I can think of is just coming back in and making a wall of stone around this. And just Rather than wall of force? And just, well, gee, if you have wall of force, that's even better. But just hoping that Abigail gets back. Well, at this point, it's Akasha's plan to rescue Abigail from the maze. So 
Uh, you don't have any way of communicating with her. And if you lock yourself in here, um, then you won't have any way out when Abigail doesn't come back. Yeah, we're just never, ever going to be able to get to do this ever again. Our best plan may be to have to go back. Well, fuck, you can't. What's your what's your chance of making the spell or the, making the save on the maze? Uh, Naomi. On the maze, I have a plus 15. So if I have Abigail's, you don't essentially know, no, without no. Abigail, I need it. You're not going to have Abigail's. Then I would need a nat 20. I'm in the same boat. I need a nat 20. Yeah, the general idea of the save is that you need her bonus to do it. Like I thought you were that... suggesting, suggesting going back and touching the masks so that you could be mazed and go find Abigail in the maze. Yeah, but that's still we still have to get back in here. If we leave here, we're done. Abigail has to find her own way out of the maze, right? Well, like I said, you don't know this, but Akasha is planning on uh, finding her in the maze. Right, but is she going to assist her in finding her way out, or is she going to plane shift her? I think she's, she's going to plane shift her out, which means she won't come back to this room. So the only thing I can think of is go back and try and destroy the mask. Just hit it with a disintegrate or something. Um, can you move in and out of the shadow plane, or once you leave, you're out? Good question. Um... I think it's once we leave, we're out. That is a pretty awesome spell. I don't think I've ever played a character um, that got access to it that would choose it. I always use Windwalk to get around. I don't know. It's an hour a level. It doesn't say that it ends when you leave. It says you can use this spell to travel rapidly by stepping into the plane of shadow and moving the desired distance, then stepping back into the material plane. It, it says you move 50 miles an hour. Yeah, it's a travel across the world type of spell. Like, you don't even get access to it until 10th level, if not higher. I think, yeah, bards would probably be even higher for 5th level spells. Yeah, so you're looking at the spell lasting for 11 plus hours where you're moving 50, 50 miles an hour. So that's like 550 miles in a day. Yeah, it would be my uh, 
my verdict that it is a one-way trip like it's simply a travel spell it's only a fifth level spell sixth level spell and it does allow you to move a ridiculous distance being able to move in and out of the shadow plane at will would be awfully powerful especially for an hour level Okay, what are you guys doing? I don't know. Well, you're either going to run away or you're going to return. I need you to make a choice so that I can move on to Akasha. I, I guess we're leaving. Odo? I'm with, with the group. Okay. We're leaving, we're leaving. Cassia? If everybody's voting for leaving, then we're leaving. Okay then it's unanimous you guys are leaving um akasha you can propose a way to find abigail in the maze so i was looking through her abilities and almost everything is limited by range she um here sorry I the problem is, is that she's an indeterminate distance away right like we have no idea how far away she could possibly be because it could be if infinite in size correct yes Although the spell, which is what I'm using for this, um, disappears after 10 minutes. Okay. So, so the idea is that it's a fairly fixed area that you should be able to navigate within 10 minutes or less. I see. You're not actually creating an infinite plane of existence. You're just creating an extra dimensional space that you're hiding people in. Okay. Now, would we both be in the same extra-dimensional space then, or would we be in separate extra-dimensional spaces? I would say since it's the same effect, um, it would be the same. I believe by the rules, the maze that um, the Lady of Pain creates is a uniform maze that everybody enters together and just dies in alone. So I would say that it would be the same maze. Okay. Hmm. What kind of range do you have? Well, I mean, she can certainly teleport. So she could teleport like 1,300 miles here if she has to, um, to start looking around. If she can get a bird's eye view of the maze, or if there's some other way she can, like, you know, see multiple areas to try to meet up with her, she would. If she can't, then that's kind of useless <clears throat> as a searching method. So, I mean, if she was in close range, she could try to mind link with her, but she's not. If she had a brow chakra, which she should, she would be able to swap that out for something but i don't think even that would allow her to do this she could try to do Dundal psionics field but i don't think that helps really so, you can roll a spellcraft on that sure
Nice. Um, you figure if you do your null psionics field, you will create an opening which will allow you to get a bird's eye view of the maze. Okay. So then she would do that. So she'll do a null psionics field, get a bird's eye view of the ma maze. I guess she'll try to make a perception check then. Yep. Let's see. She does not have her good perception stuff shaped today, but maybe this will be a good check. Yeah. Not fantastic. Okay, um, you search around a little. How long does your null psionics last for? Um, pretty much. I mean, it'll last more than the 10 rounds, I think, needed for the this effect here. It will be for... It's 10 minutes, yeah. not 10 rounds. Yeah, I was going to say. So it's 10 minutes of level, so two, and a half, two hours maybe plus. So certainly long enough for this. Okay, uh, you can roll a second perception check. All right. Okay, um, you see uh, Abigail through the maze. She is uh, struggling at a dead end. Okay. So then um, Akasha will go to Abigail. And she will, like, teleport to her, assuming that she can cover that distance with a few hundred miles. Yep. And then um, once she's there, she will um, ask Abigail how she wants to handle this. If she thinks that we should go back, um, just in case the others weren't able to succeed, or if we should escape and try again later. What were the others trying to succeed at? Well, taking the mask and escaping from the... Like, for all we know, that failed. Either they didn't escape or they didn't get the mask. So there's a chance that, like, if we go back now, like, we find our way out of the maze through its normal method, then we would be surrounded, but we might be able to recover the mask. Or we could use Akasha's plane shift to get out of here and uh, survive and fight the Lady of Pain again and try to break in again some other day, but they're probably going to make that impossible now, but who knows. Okay. Um, she is unsure what the significance of the mask is. Um, why do we want the mask? Well, it seems to be the key for the return of the Lady of Pain to defeat her like totally and utterly, we probably need the mask or to destroy the mask. But one way or another, it seems as though the mask is key. So either we're going to keep fighting the Lady of Pain over and over and over again until we lose, or we're going to have to deal with the mask. She definitely ch uh, trusts your judgment, but she's just unsure about the logic of it. Well, we know very little about the Lady of Pain. We saw that when Odo picked up the mask, he was possessed, as though, or almost as though he was becoming the Lady of Pain himself. It seems the mask is more important than the body of the Lady of Pain. So if there's a more rational way to like identify the source of her power or to like defeat her at her core then Akasha's all ears but she can't think of a more logical way to defeat the Lady of Pain than going after the mask what appears to be her her main power source well I picked up the mask and the mask attacked me which leads me to believe that the mask doesn't consider me the master Right, but then even in that case, that just means we have to destroy the mask because the mask then is too closely tied to the Lady of Pain. It's 
you may be the master of the plane, but not the master of the mask. Okay, you happen to know that the mask is the key to the power of Sigil. Right, so... The mask is what gives the Lady of Pain many of her powers that revolve around the, the actual city. So are you saying that because it attacked Abigail, that Abigail has not yet like earned that title or earned the the mask well that seems to be what she's implying is that if the mask was just simply the key she should be able to pick up the key and open the lock but there's some reason the mask doesn't want that to happen she grabbed the mask because you guys thought it was the right idea and it made sense to her at the time so she did it but it clearly isn't the key that we think it is because it shouldn't have attacked me. It should have, at the very least, rejected me, but it attacked me. Right, so... I mean, it sounds like if she's unsure and she really doesn't want to go after the mask, then we should just leave the maze, talk with our allies, and try to find another solution. But we probably won't get another opportunity to try to go after the mask again, so... Abigail has to be absolutely sure that this is the right thing to do. And only Abigail can really make that decision. Um, she asks you uh, what it felt like when you touched the mask. Well, I mean, she touched it for only a very brief moment. I guess if you want her to make a any sort of check for this, or? Um, I'll let you ad lib it however you want. You basically touched the mask and got mazed, so you can describe that however you want. Sure. Well, you know, the mask is infinite on every axis, right? So when Akasha touched the mask, you know, she touched a sentience so much greater than her own that she couldn't make sense of it and was effectively mazed in the process. Yeah, that's what happened to me too, which leads me to believe that the mask doesn't consider me any different than you. I mean, how would we convince the mask that you are the ruler of Sigil? Is it you have to bring the whole city to heal first? Is it, you know, some other, like, some other key that what Akash is getting at here is that either we don't know what the key is and it's not the mask, in which case, you know, we're just going to be like on the back foot trying to keep off the Lady of Pain as we search for this other key, or we, we go for the thing that we think is the key now and we risk, you know, that we don't know something that prevents us from ever being able to use it or destroy it or whatever it takes. There's no mention of the mask in the prophecy. Right, but I mean, if the mask is the major like, piece of power for the Lady of Pain, it follows that to defeat the Lady of Pain, you have to defeat the mask, or you have to do something about the mask. Because we've defeated the Lady of Pain multiple times, right? We've managed to you know, do everything that we can to suppress or stop her from returning, except for going after the mask and you know, into this inner chamber. So if this is exhausted, like this avenue, then we have no other leads left to follow for, you know, defeating the Lady of Pain. Well, the line in the prophecy is, passion will wax while pain wanes. As long as I continue to grow stronger and she grows weaker, we'll eventually defeat her. Right, but that isn't what we've been seeing. Each time we face the Lady of Pain, she's been stronger than the last time. So both of you are growing stronger. So how do we weaken the Lady of Pain other than to take her mask away? I don't know. Right. So, I mean... 
like it's still Abigail's call. Like Akasha would encourage her to kind of go with her gut or her instinct on this, and you know, it's her destiny and all. But uh, both options should be considered very carefully. It is her feeling that the mask is not the key. That the mask belongs to the ruler of Sigil, and she has to be the ruler of Sigil before she can command it. Okay. Then Akash will help Abigail to get out of here with a plane shift to the Outlands, and from there try to reconvene with the rest of the party, presumably to some designated rendezvous point. I would assume you guys are circling back to Pa's place, at least until you find a uh, dwelling that has a 20-foot roof. Although your need to hide from magical detection is much lower now. So you guys uh, regroup wherever it is you choose to regroup. And I think we'll leave off there. Wow, apparently Axon's got a lot of hit points. Any uh, final comments before we uh, end? Nope. Yay, we're alive. Yeah. I I that was my biggest concern. When the plan went south, I was really worried that you guys weren't gonna be able to survive that. The use of the rod of order was really clutch there, and it's really fortunate that the right people made the save and the wrong people failed it. Yeah, but we only got in that position because there was such imbalanced luck. It's just karma coming back. Yeah, the dice swing back and forth. Um, I felt kind of bad about that, but uh, I'm not going to fudge the dice. Uh, not much point in rolling dice unless you want a random outcome. And sometimes luck is against you. I will let you know now that you have made your decision that... Uh, there wasn't any way that you could acquire the mask. Um, you wouldn't have been able to control it beyond being controlled by it. But I thought it was a, an interesting plan and uh, definitely some insight into the lore of the mask and the Lady of Pain. Um, she was not in the room, which uh, I don't know if you guys were expecting her to be there or what, but uh, I was happy with the general outcome of the, uh, the session. I will say you were no closer to finding the way to defeat the Lady of Pain than you were when you started. So keep that in mind as you're brainstorming new ideas. Okay. 
And we all magically gain seven levels, right? You do not gain seven levels. But you still have uh, a day and a half to prepare before the ladies return, if there's anything else you guys wanted to do before then. Um, yeah, and you can plot offline uh, what the plan is. Okay, well, thanks for the session, guys. I got to jump off. Have a good night. Okay, catch you later. Any questions before I go? Nope. Nope. No, adios, y'all. See you later. Thanks for the game, see you.